situation um, is a Jungian term. In fact, it was Jung who first um, coined the phrase individuation. Um, and I guess in its classic sense, it means the place where we move, perhaps, where we embrace ourselves, um, where we begin to um, embrace all aspects of ourselves. Um, indeed, all of the, and again, this is a Jungian term, the shadow parts of ourselves, the parts that we want to discard because we don't like, you know, or the parts that we've had to discard because, you know, when we've grown up, people have said, you mustn't do that, you know. Um, and so as a way of survival, we've, we've hidden them. You know, the classic example there is, you know, is... Is maybe the little boy who who's who's really creative, and he gets told he has to grow up and be be a big boy. You know, um, you know, mustn't be so sensitive. You know, pull yourself together, be tough. And so suddenly, this wonderful sensitivity he has, you know, gets gets pushed down, and and he has to become this false part. Yeah. Um, and I guess when we individuate, we begin to to kind of embrace all of those bits, you know. Um, and I guess classically we can see that, you know, sort of post midlife when when we start to maybe embrace all of the bits, you know. I often see those tender moments where I see men, um, you know, becoming much more gentle and softer. You know, when they can afford to lose that kind of macho grasp, and you often really see it with granddads and and their their grandchildren. This kind of really soft part, and it's almost like, like this is this is the masculine part, you know, kind of embracing the feminine. So in other words, we're becoming more of who we really are, and maybe that's the point of individuation that we. We, be, we begin to become who we really are, and that might include our spiritual selves, you know. Uh, we become much more holistic, yeah. So the body, mind, spirit, uh, uh, becoming, becoming more embraced. <laughs>